Hello, this is Sarah at My Serenity Crafts. Um, today I wanted to show you a couple of uh, printer trays that I've done. Um, this one I did for my mom. My mom passed away about a year ago. Um, and I felt like I had, I came across these pictures of her. This is her. She's about five here and she's about five here. And then this, I'd say she's about 10. Um, so printer's trays are these trays. They're a little bit, oops, <laughs> a little bit three-dimensional. So they have these little cubbies that you can put stuff. Oh, by the way, this is my granddaughter. So that's her Gigi, um, her great-grandma. Um, so this one, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And my inspiration for this was probably either Lovely Scrap or Lovely Scrappin' or Miss Liberty 25. They're very elaborate. They put a lot of stuff in their um, um, work, into their work. A lot of layers, a lot of tricks and fancy stuff. So I've been collecting and there's been sales and, you know, on little trinkety things and keys and all types of stuff. So I figured I'd had an, I had enough to start with. So I I went for it and I mean you know I attached a chain here and I put you know just with the with the I don't have a ton of trims but I put what I had and uh, you know tried to do a few little tricks that I'd seen them do and then basically just focused on the three pictures of my mom I had I put this in here with that says mom and then I just did a little one with Maya my granddaughter but, I mean, this is, I would say this is just a little bit elaborate. You don't have to be that elaborate when you make these things. I mean, I like it. I think it turned out really well, pretty well. Um, I love dangles and all that stuff. But for my, like, my husband looks at it and he, it's too much stuff for him. Like, he gets a little overwhelmed when he sees all this stuff. You know, like, say, this one is pretty nice. Like, it just has... It's like a music theme, so it's not too much going on, you know, and probably this one, it just has my mom with her crown and, you know, but some of the stuff, when there's too much going on, he gets overwhelmed by it. So this one I made for my granddaughter and I just pretty much, I took what I had in my stash of like old school scrapbooking supplies and just like put them in, in, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six pictures of Maya. So I tried to fill it up with her and just keep it to a minimum with the, with all the little, um, add-ons that you do. Like I, you know, pinked it up a little bit cause she's very girly and I made a little castle and a princess carriage here. But like, other than that, I just went with little old school, um, scrapbooking stuff that I had kind of in my stash and tried to fill the other things with that and just make it kind of girly. So this wasn't as elaborate as my mom's, you know, and I hung a few dangles because I do like them. I love metal findings too, like the metal embellishments. So put them, put some words. And um, so that's two different versions, you know, and I love these actually I got from um, Hobby Lobby um, with a coupon, they're about seven bucks. So it's really nice. And I hang this one right on my wall over here. Um, so they're very, very cool. These are just printouts of pictures. They're not even on photo paper. They're just on regular paper. And then I Mod Podge them onto there. I Mod Podge the paper all on the back and, um, I used hot glue to put the trims on and stuff, but, um, they're just a couple examples of what you can do with a printer's tray. And, um, I mean, it's up to you how elaborate you want to get. Or keep it simple. I mean, this one, it's a little more old looking too, which I kind of like, like antique looking, because the pictures are older. They're black and white. Um, so I don't know. I think it, it came together pretty well, but then this one's just perfect for a little girl. So two different ways to go. And just do it. Just grab one, grab some pictures, and make a keepsake. Okay, hope you try it. Thank you. Bye-bye.